The so-called Dixie region of Utah was settled by the Mormons at the direction of Brigham Young, who thought the region would yield a profitable cotton crop. The town of Grafton was settled a few miles south of Zion National Park on the Virgin River in 1859 by five families, but they soon had to scale back cotton production in favor of food crops to keep them from starving. Then in 1862, the Virgin River flooded and washed away the entire town, but the tenacious settlers reestablished Grafton a bit upstream from its original location. In 1866, conflicts with the Black Hawk and other native peoples led local settlements to combine into towns of at least 150 people. Grafton was abandoned, but farmers still came to tend their crops. Two years later, settlers returned and built the adobe schoolhouse, which still stands today. Eventually, this became a ghost town. As a church planner or pastor, this town should make you think. It was placed in a hostile environment. The ground could not sustain the necessary growth of crops. The river, which brought life, also brought flood and destruction, and the native peoples made war with the settlements, making it necessary for the people to unite and enlarge their settlements. Does that sound like church at all to you? It kind of does to me. Father has called you to hostile territory. The environment, the geography, and the people want nothing to do with you. That is, until the Spirit of God moves to soften the hearts of the people He intends you to minister to. It is a powerful reminder that without His Spirit, you can do nothing. That void of Him, your church will become a ghost town. Let me give you a few questions to consider. What steps can you take to prepare the soil for a better harvest? What fortifications are needed to block the rising tide of the enemy? What is that one thing that you can begin doing to relationally engage the local people? Answering those questions while engaging in a season of prayer will bring you the answers that you need. And I would guess, change the trajectory of your church from ghost town to a place of salvation, hope, and gospel life.